Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, welcome to The Laboratory video series. My name is Shrikar Tsonkar and today I will be talking about the possibilities of API integration and agent escalation using your daily chatbots. Chatbots have been on a rise in their popularity for the last few years, and the main area that they have been really successful is IT service management. The main reasons why they have been so successful is their availability 24-7, the possibility for them to provide self-service and support to the users, and overall improved help desk efficiency, where your help desk staff is freed up to do more important work than just answering FAQs. One of the chatbots that we built that resembles this use case is Oliver. It helps you reset your SAP password and then also allows you to escalate your chat to a live agent who might be able to help you a little better than the chatbot. This chatbot is presented to the users on a desktop application and integrates with your SAP services in order to reset the password. And this chatbot is built on Node.js, Cloud and DB to store your conversations, IBM Watson for natural language processing, Botkit for bot development framework, and Electron to develop your desktop application. A simple conversation with Oliver will be as follows. Oliver will go ahead and greet you. You can ask Oliver to reset your password. Then Oliver follows by and asks you your security questions, which you answer. And once you answer these questions, Oliver will, will present you temporary password, which you can use to log into your system and then reset your SAP password uh, to be able to move on and have a new password. So let's jump into a live demo. In this scenario, user is going ahead and logging into Oliver, which is our desktop application, electron based desktop application. Once logged in, Oliver greets you with a couple of messages saying, Hey, I'm Oliver. How can I help you today? This bot also supports a couple of witty uh, questions from the user to keep the conversations light. For example, what do you look like? And Oliver says, hey, it's not supposed to be uh, about the looks, but more about the personality. You can also ask some other witty questions like what is your address? And then finally, I can go ahead and uh, ask Oliver to reset my password. So Oliver goes ahead and presents me with the option I can reset with the SAP systems I can reset my password for. I went ahead and chose BIP. Now it asks me for my SAP user ID and followed by that, it's going to ask me my security questions. So let's go ahead and punch in my uh, uh, my answers. What is the nickname? What is my place of birth? And what is my first pet's name? As soon as I uh, get, give that in, it goes ahead and reaches out to SAP and uh, reset my password. It also asks me if I was able to log into the SAP system. So I'm going to go ahead and try that punch in my user ID and the temporary password given by Oliver. And there you go. I was able to log in with the temporary password. But just for the sake of demo, I will go ahead and say no, I was unable to log in just to see what happens. As soon as I say that, Oliver reaches out to ServiceNow, which is our chosen help desk management or ticket management system and creates a new incident with incident 001004. So let's jump into service now, now, and try to find that incident. In service now, I will go ahead and uh, punch in my uh, incident ID or try to look my incidents up. Okay, and there is that. Shrieker not able to log in with his password. So my service agent or my help desk agent can look into this incident and help the user accordingly if required. So this is the ticket escalation. Followed by that, let's look at agent escalation. So you can say something like, you're not helping me, get me an agent. As soon as I say that, Oliver goes ahead and connects me to an agent. This is our help desk agent application, where I can go ahead and talk to the user that is trying to get some help from a live agent. So assuming our right-hand side screen is the agent, agent can see the previous history of the conversation and start talking to the person right in that window. So the user who is interacting with the bot can talk to agent 
right from their chat window that they have been talking to the bot in. For example, agent can say, hey, how can I help you? And it shows up in the window over here. To that, user can say, just kidding, you can't. Or I've been helped. Okay, and as soon as agent disconnects from the entire conversation, bot will just say, okay, uh, agent has been disconnected and go out. There is another way to uh, go ahead and reset this password. So if you notice in that previous question, I was not mentioning which system I want to reset the password for, but in this uh, scenario, I can go ahead and say, reset my password for the BIP system. In this scenario, the bot does not ask me what my system is because it picked up BIP from that message and it directly jumps on to asking my SAP user ID. Okay, so now having looked at that demo, we can also see the features of this uh, overall bot. This is built on a desktop chat widget, which means it can run on Windows, Linux, or Mac. It really does not matter. It's an electron application, so it's based on web. And it's also integrated with an NLP engine, that's Watson. So it's able to understand password reset, plus many more use cases. We also integrate this with our choice of backend system or ERP. In this situation, we are using SAP. And we also have help desk agent desktop application, which works hand in hand with our bot chat application, which will allow user to have a seamless experience with a bot to human interaction or bot to human escalation. Lastly, this bot is also integrated with ServiceNow, which allows the bot to create tickets as required and the human agent to go ahead and review the ticket later. So the architectural flow looks like this. We have an Electron app, which is used by end user. We also have an Electron app that is used by an agent. Both of them talk to IBM Cloud, which runs IBM Middleware, Watson Assistant, Cloud and uh, DB to store chat history. Help Desk Middleware that runs uh, the Node.js runtime. And we also have integrations with ServiceNow, SAP, and M Insights. M Insights, if you remember, is a proprietary platform built by Miracle Software Systems, which uses Node.js libraries to log your conversations and give you analytics, which is really helpful once you put your chatbot into production and want to know how it is performing. We also have a piece of oral machine learning and AI for the help desk, which we can use to do further incident analysis or even tone analysis for text. For example, if the user is not happy with the chatbot, escalating them to, that, to an agent automatically, we can do that using tone analysis. Otherwise, generate application logs, monitoring data, and patterns in order to uh, solve incidents before the downtime occurs. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com/thelabs.